We have uh, taken a. We're gonna take a break here for a second. We're gonna stop here at Big Thunder Trail because we saw this new crane. There's a new crane on Big Thunder Trail. This is a good time, by the way, to let you know that we don't have Ian today. Uh, Ian is visiting with family. He's in the park, but he's not with us. He'd rather be with his family uh, at Disneyland than with us here in Fresh Bake. Oh my gosh, they moved the wall up. That crate is literally on the trail where we used to do our reports from. So we can't really do a report other than to show you this enormous crane. There are now three of them. There's one right over there. Can you see that one? There it is right there. And there's another one that you can't see. Oh, there it is. Over there. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so what does that thing do? Besides, I guess it cranes, huh? What's happening, Fresh Bake? We're atop the Mickey and Friends parking structure for this week, this Saturday's uh, Star Wars Land update, and uh, it's a quiet, <laughs> it's a quiet afternoon here in Star Wars Land. There's nobody out there working. I don't see, I've seen a couple of orange vests and hard hats, but really, it's like they ain't working right now, which is weird because we were here last night and we saw cranes moving about all over the place at like what, they eight o'clock. Well it's gonna be hot every day. It's summer. This is this is when you construct things. By the way, that is the voice of Liz. Good afternoon Liz. Hi, I'm Ian's not here guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's feeling a lot of pressure right now because Ian's not here. Ian's hanging out with his family at uh, DCA today. Alright, so uh, I don't actually, it, it looks kind of the same to me. When we were here on Wednesday, we got a little bit of acoustic coverage of them bringing in a whole bunch of beams. And you can see that this, that the, the main, uh, you know, battle escape structure has, has continued to grow. I don't, can you just, I don't even know where, I don't even know, like, it wasn't that long ago, it was just the one, the one section. Now there's one, two, three, four, I want to say six sections, six pairs of, of vertical beams each, or six pairs deep. Uh, it's pretty amazing how much is going on. You can't even see the, the ADATs anymore. I can't see them at all. Can you guys see them? So how many levels is that? Uh, Liz asks how many levels there are. Well, it depends on where you are, where you are in the building. There are, there are, like you can see, it looks like two levels, right? Mm -hmm. But there are some sections like where the, where the ADATs are, it's just there are no levels because the ADAT is the entire height of the building. Uh, so that so there, there's no level. But if you look down here where this ladder is, there's a sub-level underneath that, right. that yeah, middle level. That right? So there's a lot of different things going on here. So is that one big attraction or is that... That is all one show building, yes. Proud. Yep, indeed. It looked to me, when it's done, it's going to be a about the size of two Indiana Jones show buildings. Uh, but instead of just being an observable block that, you, that, that looks like a square from the monorail, it's going to be a mountain. This whole thing is going to be mountain as far as you can see this way, like all along this perimeter here. It's going to be mountain. Uh, when we were here on Wednesday, we saw the guys uh, putting down flooring, concrete flooring, on the top level of the old, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, super collider, and now they put a wall up there. That wall is new since Wednesday. This wall, right? This right here in front of us. There, that wall. That wall was new, yes, or uh, as of as of as of Wednesday. That wasn't there before. Our pool's completely gone now. The pool, you can't. Well, the the pool is was is in the building now. It's over there, or no? It's in the right it's there? in the structure. No, it's in the the main structure now. Uh, it's not even part of that. It's is it that, that where the gray flooring is. Do you see the gray? That's covering the old pool. It's pretty crazy. It sure is. Not a lot of work is going on here on this part. They've been preparing. They've been doing this rebar work right here on this. There's that big crane that now big thunder. You know the ranch area. Is well, oh, you mean this? this well, this is the crane right there. That's the crane that you can see that was right in front of Big Thunder Trail. Actually, I think Liz says, no, it's this one, which we can barely see. She might be right. There's another, there's a crane. There's a, well, there's, it just looks like, that looks like it's like inside Disneyland proper, yeah, practically. Really I think that's the crane that we saw earlier. But there's a crane right there, work at, you know, at work. Uh, anyway, 
Uh, I don't see any observable progress here on this section, this Q section that they've been working on. They were putting in a whole bunch of rebar here. They're getting ready to put up more forms there, it looks like. Uh, and then they're going to fill that up with concrete, um, probably. And I guess still the, the, the assumption is those are going to be doors right there, or some kind of entrance. Two queues, two separate lines, perhaps, for guests to pass through. Let's take a let's take a look at what's going on with the uh, Millennium Falcon. Oh, there! I saw a guy working. I saw a yellow hard hat. There's one guy working. He said, "Boss, I'm coming in today." This Millennium Falcon isn't going to build itself. Coming in. So you can see the circular, uh, the circular, I don't know what you call those structures that are, that are starting to come up. I don't want to say foundation. It's, um, I forget what they call that, but there's a word for that. There's, there's two of them back there. Carousels are going to be, according to Ian. And he's smart, he knows things. And then you can't see it right now. We're going to move over to the left a little bit in a minute, but behind that structure is going to be the two. There are two separate uh, vertical uh, constructions happening behind the battlescape structure. Let's go take a look at that. So it looks like the, the, the Millennium Falcon building on the right has moved along briskly. The other one is just getting started. It's hard to tell like if they're going to connect. I think they probably will connect. But again, this is that... What are we looking at here? You know what, I gotta get some concept art. Yeah, you know, I have to think that that's also mountain range and the, all the, you know, the the facades and, you know, the Falcon, the, the Falcon that you can see and then all the shops and stuff are gonna be in front of that. Uh, if you look at the, if you look at the concept arts in the area, you know, the concept art that we've seen, um, there's a lot of mountainscapes behind, behind the attractions and the shops. There's towers and spires and, things like that so I have to figure that that's what those all of this is you know I mean it's got you know it's got rides inside of it but to the eye when we see it it's it's, it's just all mountains it's all hills and, and peaks the reason why I have such a hard time getting my head around that I think is that because I, I, I have this battle in my mind all the time and people say Dave just look at the concept art and I'm like I do I, I see the concept art but the concept art what I see doesn't line up with what I see being done like it doesn't look like it's enough room for all of that. All of those mountains plus all the, you know, uh, you know, all the shops and restaurants and things like that. It just, it looks to me like that's the end of the land and there's hardly any room in front of those structures for any of that other stuff. But I know that's not true. I know my eyes are lying to me, but that's just, that's what makes it difficult for me uh, to, to visualize that, which is why I'm not an Imagineer and why I take video instead. <laughs> By the way, before we go, uh, I heard a rumor. It was well, I don't know if it's a rumor. It's just speculation. I think it was uh, Walt Disney World news today. They were told, or they, it's been observed that, and I think this is it right here. That structure right there. That that's a, a warehouse for for parade floats. And they said that the um, paint the night floats have been packed up and like ready to be shipped. And people are wondering, are they are they really being shipped? And if so, where? Uh, because as far as we know, it is coming back to Disneyland. So you know, once the Main Street um, parades run is done, but that's not for a few months still. But there's not enough time, right, to ship it somewhere else and have it have a run at another park and then come back here. Is there enough time for that? Why would they pack up the paint the night floats and store them? Because you can see inside there if you just walk along that street right there, where that, you see where that. Uh, where the uh, guy in the wheelchair is right there, actually, just going by. You can get a great view, by the way, also, of what's happening at Millennium Falcon, but it's a long, long walk, fresh baked. So <laughs> I'm just saying, unless you get somebody cool to like drop you off, you can't walk there. You have to walk from here all the way around. It's, it's, a, it's a long walk. It's a very long walk. But anyway, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that rumor as we go. So that's it, because we don't have Ian today, and not a lot to discuss, and there's not a lot of progress here to, to observe, but we're gonna try to come back on uh, uh, on Wednesday again to see if we can't get a little more live acoustic recordings of the construction as it as it takes uh, takes progress. All right, Fresh Break, we'll see you next week. Bye.